सेकेंड क्वेश्चन शो दैट द मोशन ऑफ ए सिंपल पेंजुलम इज अ सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन एंड डेर एव एन इक्वेशन फॉर इट्स टाइम पीरियड एंड वॉट इज सेकेंड्स पेंजुलम सो इन अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव सीन दैट वॉट इज सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन एंड वी हैव डिराइव वन बेसिक इक्वेशन फॉर अवर सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन इन दैट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ वी हैव सीन सम एग्जाम्पल्स एमोंग दैट एग्जाम्पल इवन सिंपल पेंजुलम इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल फॉर एस एच एम सो अगेन In order to understand the concept of this second question, let us take the example of simple pendulum itself. So, this is a fixed end or rigid support S. So, from this we are going to take a string which is connected to a bob of mass M. So, I am going to pull the bob to a side. What happens? It starts oscillating in to and fro motion from its mean position. So, this is a mean position. So, I am going to pull the bob. What happens? It has reached to my right hand side. Again, it has come to the Mean position and is going to the left hand side. So it is going to oscillate. It is going to oscillate in the to and fro motion. So this is called oscillation of a simple pendulum from its mean position. So let us consider a simple pendulum with a bob of mass m of length l, which is suspended from a rigid support of S as shown. If the pendulum is pulled aside. Through a smaller angular displacement theta and released, then it begins to oscillate in the to and fro motion from its mean position. So, this is a fixed support S. This is a string. Here we have connected a bob of mass m. So, what we are going to do? We are going to apply some small force. What happens? It start oscillating in the to and fro motion. So it start oscillating. Here the point B A. Here the point B. b so mass of mass m so which makes an angular displacement of theta which makes an angular displacement of theta again it comes to its mean position and goes to the left hand side so the length of the string b l units l units and the mass of the bob is m right so if the pendulum is pulled aside as i told you through a smaller angular displacement this is a angular displacement theta and released then it begins to move in to and fro motion from its mean position so this is a mean mean position starting point this is going to move to and fro motion in the either side when the bob of simple pendulum starts moving in to and fro motion two force components starts doing its action here one is force which is mg the weight of the bob so if we magnify this we are able to see what are the types of forces acting here so simply at b position at b position this is the weight of the bob which is acting to downwards and here tension t starts in the string in order to balance the tension force another force acting in the opposite direction that is mg cos theta so one force that is mg that is the weight of the bob acting towards the downward direction so at the point b in order to balance the tension in the string another force is acting that is mg cos theta well second type of force is also acting here that is mg sin theta which is bringing or pulling back the bob to its mean position that is restoring force which is known as mg sin theta so here mg cos theta is used to balance the tension in the string whereas mg sin theta acts as a restoring force which means which pulls the bob to its mean position so at point b we are going to get two force two force components one is mg cos theta which is used to balance the tension in the string and that is mg sin theta which is used to which is used as acts as a 
restoring force which brings brings back the bob to its mean position so from our newton's law that is f is equal to ma let us assume as equation 1 so again force for this simple pendulum that is restoring force we know that f is equal to mg sin theta but whereas we need to assume minus because it is a restoring force which is which is going to bring back from point b to point a so that is the reason why we we need to use minus sign here so equation 2 so from equation 1 is equal to equation 2 which means ma is equal to minus mg sin theta m m gets cancelled so a is equal to minus g sin theta let us assume as equation 3 equation 3 so what do you observe from this from point s a b it is in the form of a right angle triangle so which means it is in the form of yes a b theta so as the simple pendulum starts moving from a to b it is going to move a displacement of x units so the what is the value of ab x so what is the distance of sb simply the length of the string or simply the length of the simple pendulum so what is the value of sb simply l so again so we know that sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse right so what is opposite side to theta that is ab what is hypotenuse here sb so what is the value of ab here x what is the value of l here sorry sb here l simply sin theta is equal to x by l so let us substitute here in our equation 3 so now i am going to substitute the value of sin theta in equation 3 so what do we observe here simply a is equal to minus g times of x by l that means a is equal to minus g by l times of x which means let let us apply the concept of uh, proportionality constant let k is equal to minus g by l which means a is equal to minus k into x which means a is directly proportional to minus x here minus x is the displacement and a is the acceleration which means if you have proven that simple pendulum is also the oscillations made by simple pendulum is also a simple harmonic motion so a is directly proportional to minus x where a is the acceleration and minus x is the displacement now let us find time period for our simple pendulum so far we have found acceleration is equal to minus g by l times of x which is our equation 4 so what is our basic equation for our shm we know that a is equal to minus omega square into y so here let y is equal to x so we are going to replace y with x so which means acceleration is equal to minus omega square x let us assume as equation 5 so comparing comparing equation 4 with equation 5 which means acceleration is equal to acceleration which means what is the value of equation 4 minus g by l times of x is equal to what is the value of equation 5 a is equal to minus omega square into x which means minus minus get cancel x x get cancel so g by l is equal to omega square g by l is equal to omega square which means omega square is equal to g by l so what happens when 2 is transfer to that side it becomes under root so omega is equal to g by l times of 1 by 2 which means omega is equal to g by l under root of g by l 
इक्वेशन सिक्स इक्वेशन सिक्स सो वॉट इज टाइम पीरियड फॉर्मुला बेसिक फॉर्मुला वी नो दैट T is equal to टू pi by omega. So what is the what is the value of omega from our equation सिक्स That is under root of g by l. So T is equal to टू pi by under root of g by l, which means T is equal to टू pi by under root g into under root l. Which means t is equal to two pi times of under root l by g. Because here we are going to get reciprocal. When under root of g by l goes up, reciprocal of under under root g by l, it becomes t is equal to two pi times of under root l by g. So this is a time period for our simple pendulum. This is, let us assume as equation seven. So by this we have found time period for our simple pendulum seconds pendulum the pendulum whose time period is 2 seconds then that type of pendulum is called as seconds pendulum so seconds pendulum a pendulum with a time period of 2 seconds is called as seconds pendulum so by using time period of 2 seconds let us find the length of the pendulum so we know t is equal to 2 pi times of l by g squaring on both sides squaring on both sides which means t whole square is equal to 2 pi under root of l by g whole square which means t square is equal to 4 pi square into Under root of l by g whole square. Two root get cancelled. T square is equal to four pi square into l by g. So now we are going to find the length of the pendulum. So t square is equal to four pi square into l by g, right? So l is equal to T square. If we cross multiply, we are going to get T square by G by four pi square. So where time period is equal to two seconds, G is equal to nine point eight one. We are going to substitute these values. So L is equal to T square, two whole square, G nine point eight one divided by four into three point four one whole square. Which means L is equal to four into nine point eight one by four into nine point eight one. Four four get cancelled. Nine point eight one nine point eight one gets cancelled, and length is equal to one meter or simply hundred centimeter. So what is the length of the simple pendulum? That is simply one meter or hundred centimeters. We have found from time period. Where time period is equal to t is equal to two pi times of l by g. In this case, time is equal to two seconds. G is nine point eight one. By this, we have found length of the simple pendulum.